Hi everybody, this is Peldi from Balsamic. Today I'm going to iterate on the design of the callouts feature in Balsamic Cloud. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are in Balsamic Cloud and one of the new features we added is commenting. And so you can, I like this, you can add a comment, you can reply, etc, etc. But one thing that you can do is uh, add a call out. So you can say, should there be an X icon here to cancel? And then you do add call out and you get this little thing that you can do and you can move it. You can change the, the way it looks and then um, it shows up here and it shows up as a number one. Then I will change this to a button. And you can go like this. You can also click on it directly. They get auto numbered. And there it is. So one, two, you can see what they're like. It's a cool design, um, but uh, we want to make it a little better. One thing that uh, I would like to do is to make this look more like the call out itself. And then the other thing is I would like to add some color because um, people like to use color to denote um, status, maybe red, yellow, and green, something like that. Um, so that you can see if something is done or needs to be done. I wanna give people the freedom to um, color code their call outs uh, to make it uh, a little more, to add a little more uh, power to them without adding too much complexity. So, uh, step number one, making it look more like the color. So, that's very simple. What we want to do is, uh, let's see if there's a, pointer icon that we can use. Let's go see if there's something that looks more or less like our call outs. Otherwise we'll create it. Hmm, I don't see anything. So let's go with circle. And then let's go with triang triangle, arrow, pointer, come on. We need to add some icons here. Do, 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 do. Let me, oh, here it is. What's it called? Carrot. All right, sure. Whatever you want, Phantasm. All right, that's good. That's good enough group. Okay, so uh, let's go see. This one was on the right. This was pointing left and this is pointed up. So let's do that. Um, okay, so first of all, I'll make these blue. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger. Yeah, that looks better. And this one was pointing left, so we'll put it this way. So this one could go here like this. And with a nice little one on it. That can be white. And then this one will make it point up. So like that. With a two on it. Okay, so this change alone is nice because it makes it more obvious that you can um, that you can click on something that you can hover on it to see that it's a call out 
it's it's closer to its final representation and then uh let's see let's say that this one maybe it's a different color let's see what that looks like whoops let's see if we make a uh, yellow and then this will be black. That is nice. That way you can see immediately that there's some yellow stuff. Maybe that means it needs attention. Whatever your system is, we can make it that way. Okay, so let's wireframe what that looks like. So, uh, pop up, pop over. It's a dark gray pop over. Right now, it's pretty small. And I'm gonna copy this guy. Uh, let me see, let me add a... Okay, left, top, etc. I'll add it here so we can have it easy. Okay, this last one doesn't have it. This one is left, top, right, bottom. All right, let me group these guys. Is that how it looks? Edit. No, they're centered uh, by the circle. Okay, so I can do that. Uh, I'm not sure how I can do that. Let's do it manually. It's okay. Okay, they're a little closer to each other. All right, so we're making it. We're not making it to scale. It doesn't have to be super precise. We compete with pencil and paper. Okay, that's a little too dark, though. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then what I would do is just a simple color selection here. And I would just do five colors. So blue is the default, and then I would do green, yellow, and a darker yellow so it shows up, and red, and then maybe gray, which probably means something. And that's really it. That's, I think, what we should do. Let me make this bigger. As a color selection, I think that's enough. <coughs> and when it's yellow or or gray, then it will be the the text the number will be black, just like we do for lots of other places. And then basically what you do is when you where did it go? Where we go? Oh, hello. All right, let me delete that. We're still in beta, still in beta. Another call out. There it is. There's some issues with the zooming. So basically, yeah, that's what it's like. Oh, it doesn't even have the little arrow thing. All right. So yeah, then you can go here and you can select a color as well. Simple. Let me make this a little lighter. I 
this is a rectangle. Apparently, I just do a circle like that with my border. Okay, so this is what I think we should do. Add that and add that. That seems very simple and powerful. All right, so here we are six days later and uh, the developers just uh, put the first uh, build of the new callouts on staging. So let's take a look together. All right, so here we go. I'm opening a project that already had some callouts and I'm already noticing that they look like callouts. That's awesome. Let me see. Adding another comment. Where's the call out? Ah, there it is. Perfect. So this still works. I change the color. Oh, this is exactly what I expected. The number changes color depending on the background. Then blah 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 blah. And there it is, there's a green. So now let me see if I can change the color of an existing one. That's an important thing because if you use like red green to establish if something was done or not, you have to be able to edit. So now at a glance, you can see that these things are done and this is not. And then when it's done, you go in and you make it green and we're ready to ship or whatever very nice very nice this is exactly what i wanted awesome all right bye guys